Hi everyone, welcome to Sanus Biotech Academia. From this video, we will discuss a series of lectures on immunology and in this video, we are going to discuss about the types of immunity. So, what is immunity? Immunity is the state of protection from any type of infectious disease and it has both a less specific and more specific components. The less specific component is the innate immunity and the more specific component is the adaptive or acquired immunity. Now let us talk about the less specific component of immune system which is innate immunity. By birth all we have this type of immunity and it provides the first line of defense against the infection and most of the components of innate immunity are present before the onset of infection and constitute a set of disease resistant mechanisms that are not specific to a particular pathogen. The phagocytic cells such as macrophages and neutrophils and the barriers such as skin and a variety of antimicrobial components synthesized by the host all play important roles in innate immunity and also it provides a non-specific uniform reaction to all members of a species. In contrast to the reactivity of innate immune system which is a non-specific uniform reaction in all members of a species, the specific component that is the adaptive immunity does not come into play until there is an antigenic challenge to the organism. So note that the innate immunity present before the onset of an infection but the adaptive immunity come into play only after an antigenic challenge or infection. And the adaptive immunity responds to the challenge with a high degree of specificity. That means adaptive immunity is more specific and it has also the property of memory. Normally the adaptive response against an antigen occurs within 5 to 6 days after the initial exposure to that antigen. And the exposure to the same antigen in future results in the memory response. So the immune response to the second challenge occurs more quickly than that of the first and is also stronger and effective than that of the first immune response. And the major agents of adaptive immunity are the lymphocytes and the antibodies and some molecules they produce. So in general, most of the microorganisms encountered by a healthy individual are cleared within a few days by defense mechanisms of the innate immune system before they activate the adaptive immune system. So as we said earlier the two major types of immunity are innate immunity and adaptive or acquired immunity. Now we can again classify the adaptive or acquired immunity into active immunity and passive immunity via natural or artificial means. As we know adaptive immunity is the immunity develops during lifetime which means it come into play after an antigenic challenge to an organism occurred and it can be classified into active and passive immunity. In active immunity, note that in active immunity, we are producing the antibodies against any type of antigenic challenge, which means our own body produces the antibodies and gives an immune response. But in case of passive immunity, we are not producing the antibodies against an antigenic challenge. And we are receiving, here we are receiving the antibodies from someone or somewhere else. That is the definition of active and passive immunity. Now the active and passive immunity can again classified into natural or artificial immunity. Which means the active and passive immunity occurred via natural or artificial means. In natural active immunity, the antibodies produced in our body naturally 
in response to an infection that is the natural active immunity so here this is a natural process which involves our own body produce antibodies in response to an infection and in artificial active immunity here the infection is not natural in this case we are inducing the production of antibodies in our own body by the insertion of vaccine so here the injection of a vaccine that is the vaccine is also an antigen or organism into our body artificially then our body will produce antibodies against the organism in the vaccine which has injected this is the natural and artificial means of active immunity next is the natural and artificial means of passive immunity as we said earlier here we are not producing the antibodies in this case we are receiving antibodies from any other person or somewhere else and in natural passive immunity it involves the receiving of antibodies from our mother through placenta or breast milk like igg and iga respectively that is the natural means of passive immunity next is the artificial means of passive immunity in this case the antibodies received from the plasma or serum of someone or somewhere by injection this is the artificial passive immunity as its name suggests here artificially we are injecting the antibodies from somewhere else so that's all about the different types of immunity in active immunity here we are producing the antibodies our own body producing the antibodies against certain type of infection or vaccination and in passive immunity we are not producing the antibodies we are receiving antibodies from someone or somewhere else so hope you all understand this video if you like this video hit like share and subscribe for more videos also don't forget to press bell icon to get notifications okay thank you